Hello, welcome to another episode of Conversations in the Void. I'm your host, Joshua Von Ammon. Joining us today is Justin Hunter Allen. Justin is a graduate from Cooper Union in New York. He's a resident of Dallas. He's shown across the United States. Uh, presently, Justin is having a show at the DMA. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Hey, yeah. All right. Um, so just to start off with uh, your DMA show, mm-hmm. um, it would be nice, given the sort of um, non-traditional nature of this project, hope you might actually discuss both how it actually works and then, you know, everything else behind it. Sure, sure. Um, it's, uh, it's a show presented via augmented reality. Um, it uses iPhones or Android compatible phones or devices, tablets, to display the work over works that are already in said gallery, which is the American wing of the DMA. Mm-hmm. Um, what's behind it is... I was looking for a way to pass the milestone of having a museum show um, without having to actually go through the trouble of having a sanctioned museum show. Mm -hmm. Um, I think part of it is, a big part of it is the geography, and then another part of it is the relevancy that's given by other people. Um, Starting on the internet, you have a... Uh, proposition of the show I say I'm having a show then some other people on the internet say that I'm having a show and then you show up and you look at it and I had a show Mm -hmm. so that's the that's the basis if one was to actually be present and interact with you know on your end what you're creating what what would that be like what would it be like if they were interacting with it well I'm just saying like you know physically describing oh well they would they would print out our codes for the show Mm -hmm. um, from the internet on whatever printer that they use. They would show up with whatever device is compatible Mm -hmm. and they would scan said codes and then use their device to view the show in that geographic location because it uses the images that are in the space. Mm -hmm. And so essentially you've got you know, these paintings, which are between, like, 150 to 200 years old. Right. Uh, generally, right. I think it's that early American mm-hmm. sort of art, Baroque period. And then you have an overlaid image that will show up on your device. Right. Overlaying, you know, what you're looking at of this right. painting. And their, and their age aided me in not, like, running into legal boundaries. Right. Um, because they're they're out of copyright. or That's my understanding. They're out of copyright. And, it's a logical uh, and I can use them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, and you know, we uh, recently have spoken with uh, two new media artists, both um, Kyle Evans and mm-hmm. Alfredo Salazar Caro, who you know, uh, well, Alfredo with Street Team was actually doing you know uh, gallery or not gallery museum invasive work. Yeah, and you know, he'd actually be installing these projectors to put these images next right. to or on these paintings. Yours, on the other hand, is you know. It's not, I mean, as it differs from that, it's not a physical invasion in any mm-hmm. way, permanent or impermanent. Right. Um, his, I, or these, I am familiar with them. Um, these projections, they are, they engage the user like on a much more free level mm-hmm. because all they need is eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, at the same time, somebody could come by and take the projector away or something along those lines. Mine, you know, doesn't require that. It does require the use of QR codes and a printer and an iPhone. At the same time, nobody can take it out. Right, right. That's that's an interesting note. And so this is, again, both you um, and uh, Lucy Kirkman, um, your partner, Mm -hmm. and... The two of you, you know, moving on toward what you've been doing in Dallas specifically, because you moved here, uh, is it two years, a year and a half ago? A couple years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Um, You're the co-founders of Don't Fuck This Up, Mm -hmm. uh, or DTFU, or DFTU, however you prefer. Um, DTFU. The the website, (laughs) the website is, and this this started in a misprint, Uh right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but that works. So that the website is www.studio. DTFU. DTFU. Yeah. Dot com. Excellent. Um, so what you've done with um, Don't Fuck This Up Gallery, uh, the, the last 
show you had was Apple Faces, which was mm-hmm. a text-based show. That was that was a huge success. Mm-hmm. That was archived at the DMA. Yeah, correct. We have our book there. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, you know, I'd like a little curiosity as to what sort of inspired getting that moving. Um, like why you decided to do it. DTFU. Mm-hmm. Uh, DTFU started. It what we we rented the space. We were, we were willing to spend the money that it costs. It ain't cheap. Uh, to rent the space so that we could have the extra space for studios. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the same time, we were, we were trying to pitch shows around, and one of the shows we were trying to pitch around was me, Lucy, and Justin Locklear at the Starbucks at Mockingbird Station here mm-hmm. in Dallas. Um, and they 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 didn't like it. Uh-huh. And we and we thought that it was a sure thing, but they didn't like it, and <laughs> so we moved it to our space, and it was our studio. So it became Studio. Don't fuck this up. Right. And the name was supposed to be tentative, but it it stuck pretty quick because uh-huh. people actually cared. We uh-huh. didn't think anybody cared. So that that's that's how that came about. But it, but parallel to this show at the DMA. It was really looking for the way to gain the credibility. Mm-hmm. However, we actually had the, you know, the way to, you know, I don't, right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to play around it like the, that the DMA wants my work so bad, right. but augmented reality is a good way to get it there. And that's, that's, that's basically how, how that mm-hmm. works. And, and that's where we met uh, your first opening, right. uh, Don't Fuck This Up. Um and, you know, that led, you know, with a mutual interest and that sort of like, um, you know, rogue establishment, um, just going against the pre-existing infrastructure of mm-hmm. the arts community, you know, and just sort of creating our own, you know, and, and yeah. we formed SCAB. And, uh, you know, so there's a shared passion in that. That's a lot of the driving force of the projects that we're working in. You mm-hmm. know? Um you know, and, and the funny thing is, is that talking about this DMA show, this this sort of uh, augmented reality, new media, whatever you want to call it, yeah. is that, you know, traditionally, you know, you are a painter and most of the work that you produce is painting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, while text is incorporated into your work, you know, it's it's something that, you know, y'all should see. Um, yeah, I, I would like to say something about uh, about the work um, because I was advised to say something about the work. The work... <laughs> is it is mine but it's also broadcast under a pseudonym Mm -hmm. and the pseudonym is for a little bit of distance because uh the primary objective is infiltrating the space Mm -hmm. um the work is like i was saying earlier the the primary objectives are saying that like we're gonna have the show somebody else says we're gonna have the show and then people show up Mm-hmm. What they actually look at, look at is, who knows? Mm-hmm. You put on a show, nobody knows what you're gonna show. Maybe nobody shows up. It doesn't mean you didn't have the show. These other mm-hmm. things are like the primary objectives. So to, you said you had it, and right. people showed up, and somebody said something about so it. So to rip off McLuhan, you could say the the, the the medium is the message, or the message is the medium. The, wait, the wait, message wait, is it? the message. The message is the medium, but it's not my message. It's Kitten Face's message. Message or. Lucky Erkman. So message. you have the pl- plausible deniability. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Um, let's see, again, all of that information can be found on both Scab Blog and, as we cited earlier, uh, Studio Don't Fuck This Up or st- Studio DTFU.com. Um, you know, it was a pleasure having you on the show. And we hope, again, hope to see you again soon. Mm-hmm. Um, Next, we have a performance by Joshua Ray Walker. So thank you for tuning in. Enjoy. We've been talking for a while. And I think I like your Better go fast Cause I don't think This is meant to last Cause I don't wanna be here When they say the last call I wanna see your face When the lights come on Pretty sure you think my name is Paul I don't wanna be here When the lights come on 
could do worse Close my tab You grab your purse I can't say 